we're back at it today. We're going to be laying our conduit and running our wire to the coop and to our future greenhouse location. Um, also, we're putting um, another outlet over here by my path for our bunnies. We actually have bad news about our bunnies. Um, three of them, they got out. Uh, we had four bunnies, three of them dug a hole and they are gone. So, uh, yeah, we got one bunny left, unfortunately. So what's the plan? Well, let's uh, get these poles or these four by four posts in the ground so we can uh, attach the PVC to. And then we'll start laying it down. We'll have to run the, the electric through each piece of PVC loosely. And then glue it together after. Then glue it, yeah. Okay. So I don't feel like pulling wire. Okay. I don't either. It's not fun. No. What's no, the problem? I want the greenhouse, I want this to be inside the greenhouse. Yeah. So, I stopped there with the electric. I probably need to come in here a little bit further to set that post. So, look at this hole that these bunnies dug to get out of here. They dug out pretty far to escape. Poor bunny, we only got one left. He's gonna be lonely. Bunny! There he is. Hi, Bunny. Hi, are you lonely? You poor little thing. You poor little thing. We're gonna have to figure something out because I don't want him to be lonely. Make an hour? I don't know. We're going to put a light inside the coop and also an outlet. Um, we'll probably put one of those blacked out heat bulbs, the ceramic heat bulbs that you can get that don't put off any light. We'll probably hook up one of those for the winter and then if we have any more weather like we had last winter where we were, you know, 10 to 15 degrees, not last winter, the winter before, for like two weeks we had, it was crazy. Um, we're going to get one of those. We're gonna get one of those panel heaters that we can plug in and mount to the wall. So yeah, we'll have a light source if we need a light source. Um, otherwise, we're just gonna use those uh, ceramic bulbs for warmth and then we'll have an extra outlet just in case we need to use a panel heater if we get too crazy this winter. Okay, so I'm at the end of my path. If you look this way, there's my path and my bench. So right here, under these three little trees, we are going to put the bunny house right there. 
Um, that way it's closer to the house, it's not way out there. And we're gonna put some recepts right here just in case we need some heaters or light or anything right here next to the bunnies. I say bunnies, I mean bunny, because you know we only have the one left. But we're gonna have to get it a friend now that the other one got out. And also when we move the when we move the house, we're gonna put down chicken wire underneath it. We knew we needed to do that anyway, but we had planned on moving the house. That's why we hadn't done it yet. Um, so we had just been kind of watching for holes and filling in any holes that they make. And that's the reason why that fencing is laying up against the bunny hutch because they had started digging a hole there. So we filled it with rock and then we moved the fencing up against the house. Well, apparently they dug out under the fencing too. So anyway, we got one bunny. We are gonna have to get another one, but they are going to live right here. We're running out of daylight and we're racing the rain. It's been um, stormy all around us pretty much all day and we haven't got any rain yet so we've been lucky. But we still have this here to do and then hooking it up to the meter and then we'll be finished with it. Other than installing a, a light fixture and the recepts on the boxes. But we're getting it done. It's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. But I should I shouldn't be surprised. I'm working with Mr. Sloth over here. So what? Funny names. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna do it. <clears throat> Yay. Okay, now hold that stick, but like twist it off. Oh yeah, huh? Sure. <laughs> hold it. It just feels like it's a bad breaker. Mm -hmm. Just we'll find out if it doesn't turn on. It's gonna be short. Oh, was so it like a six inches? I'm no, that ain't six inches. I'm a short twelve inches. That's uh, yeah, that's a good foot there. Darn it!
We aren't beating the rain. It's starting to sprinkle good. Chop, chop. Huh? I said chop, chop. chop. Yeah. Gotta speed this up. Our light bulbs will be here in two days. Or our uh, heat bulbs. I can mount all the fixtures and nice be ready for it. And we'll see how far I can get for the termination of the receptacles and switches. <laughs> Are you trying to sound professional? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just really excited because, you know, our siding is the next thing we're doing. Oh, man, we were supposed to measure today measure for our first order of panels. We didn't do it. Uh, yeah, we haven't placed that order yet. We've, we've ordered a lot of our trim, so it's exciting. We're still waiting on our trim. we got a couple more days probably before it'll get here. Big things are happening around here, finally. Now, we have this trench right here already dug up the hill for um, runoff. You know, it goes under this little bridge that I made a while ago. And it looks like we had to dig straight through our little trench um, for the electric. So I imagine that all of this, the trench that we just made for the wire, I imagine that it's going to end up being a wet weather creek eventually. Everything always ends up being a wet weather creek around here. We get so much runoff on these hills. Remember how I told you our bunny had disappeared? Well, he uh, dug a new hole to come back in. So he's back now. I don't know how to do this. You know, it's probably been so long mm -hmm. that I don't even remember how to do a reset anymore. Like. What? Well, maybe that's not true. Black is hot, white is not. <laughs> and then it's you have your ground. One. But I don't remember which one it goes on. Red, black. Well, can be hot. So there's yes. gold and then silver, and I don't remember what's gold, silver. Uh, I don't know. The silver's the neutral. Mm. And the gold is the hot. Look. It says right Does here. it say it? White wire to this side. Oh, well. Hot wire. Look at that. On this side. Electrical for dummies. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you liking this setup here? This thing. That five gallon bucket's great. No, this thing. Yeah. And that. I'm kind of disappointed. Looks cheesy. Yeah, they are cheesy. They're plastic inside, but nice metal on the outside. Uh -oh. Some, I don't know. I wasn't wanting a, a plastic setup. I knew I hired the right man for the job. Where am I getting paid? <laughs> so I decided to make a dust bath for the for the girls today. So we did some dirt, some sand, and some first Saturday lime, and apparently they're loving it. <laughs> oh, you're so awkward. I went out to go buy outdoor wire, and the guy only had indoor wire. And I'm not too worried about it. I did a 12 2 indoor wire. I wasn't planning on using it, but it'll work for a chicken coop. If we have problems with it, I'll rip it back out and replace it with the right stuff. It's up to code, besides it being outside. This is a uh, 
not a wet weather wire, but it's coded. But code tells you to use single conductors, not conductors wrapped. So that's temperature and not wrapped right is the difference. You don't want to use indoor stuff, but it'll be fine. I'm, I glued it really good to where it won't get wet. And it's not going to get be inspected or nothing, so I'm not too worried about it. Cut. <laughs> Cut! <laughs> I'm going to run it off of this. Isn't that the generator plug? Yeah. So, have another thing and I'll have to take that, put it on a different thing, thingy the jigger. <laughs> All right, let's oh. see if we can feel some heat. Yeah, it's already hot. Really? Yeah. No, it's not. You lied. <laughs> oh, it's hot on that. Let's come back in a few minutes and see what it does. It's so sweet. Poor Buster Brown. Yeah. Electric and water is done, so we'll see you next time.